Hi, welcome to another video on my channel. Uh, my name is Alex, and today we are doing a full tour of everybody. You're gonna get to see everybody out. Um, I think there's only one that I couldn't find out, but I put up a picture anyway, so you get to see him regardless. Um, but yeah, we're doing a full tour of fish tanks, reptiles, amphibians, everybody. Um, it's gonna be awesome. It's a long one, but um, Get a snack, get a drink, settle in. I'm really excited about this. I think it's gonna be really great. Okay, so now we're outside. Um, this is my courtyard area. Really low, I need to fix that. Um, this is for my tortoises. I've got two male and female redfoot tortoise, um, Cuban false chameleon, and my big turtle ponds. So yeah, let's see what we can find. Alright, this, hang on, this is Darwin, this is my big male redfoot tortoise, um, he's a big boy, had him for probably about two years now, yeah, he's a big old boy, um, one second, so this is his enclosure and also Blue, his girlfriend. She's just a little thing. I gotta find her. This is my garden. I gotta water it. Don't judge me. But look, I've got my first little tomato. So I really need to water it. But, um, so while I find Blue, this is my big turtle ponds. Um, this one is a 300 gallon. And then this one is a 100 gallon. So this is where the adults live, and they can get behind it and everything. So this is where the adults live, and then this is where all of my juvenile turtles live. Let's see a couple of them right there. They love it. You can see my, let's see, my Reeves turtle, my one of my Indian spotted, so one of my red bellies are in there right now. You can see. I'll pull more out in a minute. Hang on. Okay, so I've got three of them. These are my two red bellies. Um, that one's a northern red belly. This is a flame red belly. And then let's let him go so I can. Alright, go on, buddy. Alright, you can go check. Alright. And then this is Achilles. Sorry. This is Achilles. This is my. Reeves turtle. Oh, the northern red belly is um, Zuko, and the flame red belly is Sokka. So this is Achilles. He's gotten so big. All right, let me see if I can find the other ones. Okay, so this is Hercules. This is my um, giant Mexican musk turtle. Um, I think it's a female, but. She is, come on, focus. She has gotten so big. She was tiny when I got her. Oh, come on, focus. There we go, she's beautiful. She's got this gorgeous shell. And the spotting is just absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, all right, all right, all right. You got claws even though you're little. All right, I've got, I think, three more. Let me see if I can find them. All right, so this is Onyx. One of my Indian spotted turtles. Um, he's the smallest one. He's adorable. I love their patterns. He's so pretty. I have another one that's a little bit bigger, but I cannot find her right now. I know she's in here, but I cannot find her because she is hiding so well. Um, if I see her or the other common rust turtle, I will add footage, but let's go see if we can find the adults. Darwin is trying to help me look for the turtles right now, apparently. He loves to be right in my space. Okay. Let's see if we can find the adult turtles. Hang on. Alright, so this is Blossom. This is my big female pink belly side neck. Um, she is just absolutely gorgeous. I don't know why it's so zoomed in right now, but she is beautiful. Um, she's got a little, she'll 
Ow. Let me show you. She's got a little nub tail. But that's okay. We love her. She is just fabulous. She's so healthy. Look at that. Gorgeous. Right, let's let her go back in her pond while I find the other two. There she goes. Alright, so this is Casper. This is my African serrated side neck. Um, you can kind of see where they get that name. They've got those serrations on the shell. The shell. Um, all of these are females. <laughs> She's a big old girl. Ow! Okay, okay, okay. There you go. There you go. Alright, good girl. Alright, let me find the third female. Okay, last but not least, yow! Okay, hang on, hang on. Last but not least, this is Safira. This is my regular African side neck. You can see her shell is a lot different. Um, come on. She's a big old girl, just like the other two. Um, they're doing really, really well in here. They love being outside. It's one of the benefits of living in Florida. Um, and while I was looking for the turtles, I found blue. So this is blue. This is my female redfoot tortoise. You can see she's a lot smaller than Darwin. But yeah, they're just hanging out. They're friends. I love her because she's got this little wonky scute right there. It's so funny. Yeah, she's so cute. I love her. All right, let's put her back. That's one of their hides. They've got a, in this winter, that the heated hide that I can kind of close them in. And then over here, we've got, this is Gandalf, my Cuban false chameleon. I gotta try and find him. This is pretty foliage dense in here. Let me zoom out, there we go. Oh, my phone's getting hot. Let's see if I can find him without getting bit. Oh, there he is. Okay, so if you look right there, there he is. He's a feisty little dude. He loves it. He used to be really calm and gentle, and then I put him outside, and lizards tend to kind of go a little feral when you put them outside. But it's all right. It means he's happy and healthy. So yeah, this is his enclosure. Um, one second. Close this. There we go. This is a two by two by four screen enclosure. So yeah, he loves it. He's always in, running around in there and stuff. And then these are just some plants that I've got that I need to water. Monstera, oh, sorry, blue. Monstera, big banana tree. Blue, I need to clean out their water bowl, but that's fine. So yeah, that's my courtyard. Oh, there she is. There we are. Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't drop the turtles, Alex. Okay, so this is Tonka. <laughs> She's got food in her mouth. This is Tonka. This is my other um, Indian spotted. You can see she's a good bit bigger than Onyx is. All right, let's let you eat your food. Go on. There you go. Don't see the common musk turtle, but honestly, I made this pond pretty shaded and they've got I had to weigh it down because it's inside the 300 gallons so we put cinder blocks in there but they're angled to where the fish and the turtles can get in them and hide in there and stuff so I don't always see everybody but I know they're doing good um they've this one's got one canister filter the um 300 gallon has two so this is getting filtered really well and of course the the papyrus and the I'm gonna get another elephant ear to put in there but um yeah they love it out here they absolutely love it the tortoises love it they do really well so yeah um let's go inside and we will get to working on the store oh, I left my sunglasses out here hang on a second I brought my sunglasses out here, didn't even wear them because I ended up looking for the turtles. Oh well. So this is the food, in case y'all are wondering. This is what I'm using for the turtles. I 
feed them different stuff all the time. I try and give them a pretty good varied diet. It is mostly pellets, but I also give them duckweed and water lettuce and stuff like that for my tanks. So they do get vegetation. So yeah, it's just all about variety. Oh, it's a lot cooler in here. Oh, sorry, my hand's in the way. It's a lot cooler in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's figure out oh, sorry. let's figure out where to start. Okay, so reptile room tour. Where do you start? You start in the reptile room. Although we already did the outside stuff, but I wanted to do that before it got dark. Because, like, I always film these, and then I start on the inside, and then by the time I get done inside, it's dark outside, and it's I gotta wait till the next day. So today I was actually smart about it and filmed outside first. So, all right. So let me flip it around. This is my Suriname boa constrictor tent. This is four by two by five feet tall. And for anybody wondering, five feet tall for a boa constrictor, that's crazy. They don't climb. He spends 90% of his time up there. So, I don't want to hear it. Um, actually, let me unlock the cage so I can actually give you good footage of him. Hang on. Okay. So I've unlocked it and unzipped it. So you can see he's right there. It's a Suriname. Um, I'll try and get, I might take him out later in the video and get you guys a better view of him. But yeah, I need to clean his water bowl. I should have done all that before I started filming, but... I have ADHD, so I'm impulsive, so I just wanted to start this now. Um, this is his enclosure. He loves it. Um, he's always, he loves to bask right on that branch right there. He just lays there. If I can figure out how to, like, interlay a picture. I have a picture of him the other day just basking right there. He's got his light. Neither of these are, like, too hot to where he'll burn himself. Like, I can touch that comfortably. So it's not too hot, and this isn't too hot where he'll burn himself so and i've got oh it died there's a little battery fans in here to get air circulation i just need to take it out and charge it that's all battery didn't last as long as i thought it would that's annoying and then um you can get these at home depot they're called corn plants they're not actually corn but that's what they call them um sometimes they'll come with pothos in the bottom this one unfortunately did not He's got some umbrella plants from his other enclosure and then a little, I got some Dracaena. Trying to grow those up in here. Um, yeah, he loves it. I love it. I love that he's happy. I do want to get him a bigger water bowl, like one of those cement mixing tubs, because he is getting bigger. And just he'll have a nice big water area. But yeah, that's his enclosure. Let's lock it up. so He's nice and secure. Oh, and for anybody who has these tents maybe and is maybe wondering how to lock them, um, I got these little padlocks for cheap off Amazon. There's three zippers right here at the top, and I just took all of them together and put them in the padlock, and it seems to be really secure. And then down here at the bottom, I have a zip tie pulled as tight as I can get it, and that's, that's really secure, So, because I don't mess with the bottom too much. So yeah, and then over here, I've got... The same size tent. This is just actually, you know what? This makes more sense. <laughs> this I got too excited. This is my bearded dragon tent. Um, oh, really bad. My bowl constrictor is named Titan. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place right now. This is Cricket. Um, this is her bearded dragon setup. It is bioactive, but she smashed all the live plants, so I just got fake plants in here. Um, this is a four by two by two ecoflex i'm not doing zen habitats anymore these are nice solid glass doors with an actual lock and zen habitat is just flimsy acrylic so i don't really like them i had a couple escapes it was not good so she's in the middle of shedding but she's always pretty chill let's take her out this is cricket let me get her good grip on her there you go this is cricket this is my bearded dragon. She's quite large. Um, she's doing really well. She just, or she's like 90% done with her shed. So she, I'm so happy because she was like 
Her whole body was like that color. It was dull. But now she's her nice, vibrant yellow. Actually, you can see she's... There you go. You can see she's quite large. Large and in charge. She's a sweetheart. I mean, as most beardies are. Just a total love. Yeah. So pretty. Alright. This is her enclosure. Um, I've got a radiant heat panel right here. It's quite toasty. She can. This is the hottest spot she can bask right there. It's nice and wide. She likes to sit up there. Um, and then I've got her... Let me do it the other way. The doors aren't usually this hard to open. It's the weight from the... Uh, Titan's tent, but it makes it even more secure for her. Um, got her UVB right there. Spans most of the enclosure. Um, and then I've got a LED right there. Cause I, I might try with some bigger plants again. I don't know yet, but um, yeah, she's shedding everywhere. But um, this is her enclosure. She loves it. She seems to really do well in here. Um, I fed her yesterday, so, yeah, she's doing great, she loves, she's got nice thick layer of substrate down here, like it goes all the way there, so I mean, she can dig, she digs all the time, she lays slugs all the time, because I only have a female, I have no interest in breeding beardies, so she's in a slug. But yeah, she loves it. Um, this is the lock I was talking about. This, you just, it comes with like a sticky thing and you put it on the glass and then, boom. You can only open it. You can't even, it doesn't even come out of the casing there. So, no escapes. I love it. Okay, let's move on from there. This is my jungle slash, or I guess jungle x diamond carpet python. Let me see if I can unlock this and film at the same time. I do the same thing with the little padlock. There's a better view of it. There you go. Hang on a second. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Yeah, hang on. <laughs> I'll come right back. Alright, so this is my jungle diamond carpet python. She's a female. Her name is Syrax from um, House of the Dragon. Oh, I need to figure out that other light, apparently. Okay. Well, this is her. She's beautiful. She just shed, too. So this is the prettiest the snake has ever been. Um, this is the same size as Titan, so it's four feet long, two feet wide, or two feet deep, I guess, and five feet tall. Um, she's That's her favorite spot right there. And like I said, these lights are not very hot. Like, I can put my hand on there comfortably. Um, so she doesn't have to worry about getting burned. Um, in here, I've got the same corn plant as Titan. And you'll recognize this palm from um, Gandalf's enclosure. The Did I say that his name was Gandalf? I don't know. My Cuban false chameleon is named Gandalf. I'm sorry. I'm trying to say all the names. Um, yeah, she loves it. I made it a lot of branches so she can climb and bask and she uses every inch of this. I mean she at night she's like down on the bottom and stuff and that's locked up the same way as Titans with the zip ties. So yeah. I think that, you know, tents are a really good option. Especially if you have a high humidity animal. They hold in heat and humidity pretty well. And then over here we just walked out. Perfect. This is Oppenheimer. This is my Savannah monitor. You can see he's just a little guy right now. This is a. Uh, these two are Ecoflex 40s. Um, they come in 20 gallons, 40 gallons, and four feet long. So, definitely, I'm not sponsored or anything. It's just these are the enclosures that I've decided I really like. So check them out. Um, I like that they have a substrate barrier, so I can give him you know a bunch of substrate to dig in. Also, I get these labels from um, Cloud Forest Design on Instagram. They have so many, so many different ones. So if you want a label, check them out. 
so yeah this is his enclosure um oh bullseye um he's got his uvb right here another radiant heat panel okay and then he's got a spotlight right there his monitors like it hot so yeah this is him i'm not going to handle him i haven't really worked on handling with him with yet sorry I haven't worked on handling with him yet. He's still pretty small. But he goes crazy for crickets, let me tell you. Actually, you know what? I need to feed him. I can show you guys, all right? So I'm just gonna dump him in here. I do give him calcium and stuff. I'm just not doing it right this second. Okay, that didn't have a whole lot. Let me see if I can dump some more in there. Here we go. Let's see. It might be a little camera shy. Let's close the enclosure. Usually he'll start going nuts when he sees them. Come on, dude. Really? You go nuts for crickets. Come on, dude. All right, let me stop filming and I'll come back if he starts eating them. Here he goes. I threw in a couple hornworms too. I say he, I don't obviously know what the sex is because they're so small, but yeah. There he goes. Now he's on the hunt. Now he's on the hunt and loves food. He's being a little camera shy right now. He's not going as nuts as usual. But yeah, that's Oppenheimer. He's obviously going to get a lot bigger, but this is his right now enclosure. Because he was not even the size of my hand when I got him. Oh, there he is. So yeah, he was just a little guy when I got him. He's gotten a lot bigger. He's probably about doubled in size. So yeah. Okay, so underneath Oppenheimer, we've got... This is Moses. This is my smooth-sided toad. Um, it's all reflections, hang on. So this is his enclosure. Um, I, it's all overgrown, but I know he appreciates the coverage, so I just, I just let it grow. Um, I know he really likes it, so. I need to get in here and trim, but it's good for now. Let me find him for you guys. <laughs> doesn't like being held so this is Moses this is my smooth sided toad um he's a cutie patootie <laughs> it's adorable um let me try and get a better grip there we go okay okay you're okay I've got you yeah there we go so yeah, he lives in this. This is another Ecoflex 40, just like the other one, and it's all overgrown, but he really appreciates all the coverage and everything, so it's really natural for him. He's just adorable. These are one of my favorite toads. I was super excited when I got him. He's just so cute. Okay, let's put him back. Uh, here you go, bud. Oh, there's a leaf in the way. There we go. There you go, bud. <laughs> yeah. He loves his enclosure. So, we've done this side. Let's swing over. This is one of the animals that I'm probably not going to be able to find, guys. I'm sorry. This is my bacon lion, orange bacon lion, gargoyle gecko. He looks exactly like that. I got lucky with the label. He looks exactly like the label. Um, so this is a 2x2x2 two by two by two 
PVC. Um, live plants, bioactive. Um, it, it's awesome. He's going to be in there somewhere. I don't even know where. He's so good at hiding. But yeah, he absolutely loves it in here. He's doing great. Let's see if I can peek him. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. If gargoyle geckos or New Caledonia geckos are good at one thing, it is hiding. So <laughs> he is in there sleeping. Like I said, he looks just like that. So this is my blue tongue skink enclosure. I don't know if y'all remember Neodesha cages, but this is one of them. It's really great. Um, she is actually out. She's right there. That's perfect. She's so big. She was probably about this big when I got her. And now, look at her. I mean, she's probably about two feet. She's huge. I love her. She's the best. She doesn't like being held. She won't bite, but she will definitely pee all over me. I don't really feel like getting peed on right now, so we'll just leave her like this. She's adorable, though. This is a 4x2x16, by by or maybe 18, and it's perfect for her. She loves it. Okay, and then this is my male normal ball python. He's definitely in shed right now, so I'm just going to leave him be. But he's right there. He lives in here. This is his enclosure. It's another Ecoflex 4x2x2. Two by two by two. They come in the gray or the tan. So, um, this is his 4x2x2. Two by two by two. And for y'all say anything, he uses all these branches all the time. He's just in shed right now, so he's a little bit more subdued. But yeah, normally he's all over the place at night using all these branches and everything. So, he loves it. Um, this used to be my carpet python enclosure. But she got moved into the tent. So yeah, he, he loves it. He's doing great in here. Okay, this is Oogie Boogie. This is my um, Mexican black king snake. I got him from a friend, actually. Um, this is a 40-gallon breeder. Everybody that's in a 40-gallon breeder, eventually I want to get swapped over to the Ecoflexes. But um, I can really only buy one a month. So it's going to take some time. But I'm going to get it done. I've already made a good dent in it. Let me see if I can find him. He was out a little bit ago. Hang on. Okay, this is kind of hard to film. But this is Oogie Boogie. This is my... There we go. It's kind of crooked. Sorry. This is my Mexican Black King Snake. He actually is a lot longer than I thought he was. When I got him, he was just a little thing. He's gotten so big. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. This is really hard to do one-handed. No, don't hurt your head. Okay. Yeah, so this is Oogie Boogie. He's beautiful. He's absolutely gorgeous. I love king snakes. I used to not. My first real snake bite was... Okay, okay. It was a Florida king snake that bit onto my thumb and ate it, basically. So, I used to not like king snakes, but I've really gotten into them lately. And this is just... I love black animals. I love black snakes. So, he is just absolutely phenomenally gorgeous. And yeah, and he's pretty chill, too. Alright. Alright, Ryan, if you're watching this video, here's a boy. He's gotten huge. He's going to be getting an upgrade before too long. All right, let's lock his cage up. Okay, so next to these enclosures. But um, this is my female Dumeril's boa, a new kit, which I, as I understand, is the Egyptian god of fertility, goddess of fertility, um, because this is actually a partho baby. Let me see if I can find her. Not get bit, because she is a little sassy. Hang on, let me find her. It's easier to do this two hands. Sorry, guys. Okay, I was going to pick her up, but she's in shed, so I'm just going to let her be. She's feisty. This is my female, Dumerals. This is a nougat. She's heavy in shed. 
So I'm just gonna let her be. But she is just gorgeous. Every time she's this is gonna be her second shed. Um in the time that I've had her, and every time she just gets more and more pink. She is not even our full colors right now. She's gorgeous. Okay, so down here below a new kit, we have Trevor. This is my cane toad. Told you I like big toads, frogs. Now I cleaned out his water earlier. It's, it's never that good to make that clean for five minutes, watch. So I spooked him earlier, but let's see if I can find him. He's a pretty big boy. I, I named him Trevor and I say boy, I think it's a female because I've never heard them call. There she is. Okay, okay, I know, I know, I know. She's very skittish and doesn't like to be held, but this is Trevor, my cane toad. She's, I think she's beautiful. I think she's just gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know. If y'all could tell me down in the comments, what do you think? Male, female? I don't know. I have to figure out how to sex them. But yeah. Um, this is her, yeah, into the water. That's where she always is. Um, this is her enclosure. It's another 40 gallon breeder. So I am going to get it swapped over eventually to another, um, of the front opening variety. I think she would like that a lot better too, rather than me coming out or from above. But yeah, she's adorable. I think she's gorgeous. Yeah, it's her enclosure. Okay, so this is Vader. This is my Brazilian rainbow boa. He's just a little guy right now. He'll be getting an upgrade eventually soon too. Or eventually soon. He'll be getting an upgrade soon too. But he's got a nice big water bowl. Um, let me see if I can find him. This is going to be interesting. Okay, so this is Vader. This is my Brazilian rainbow boa. He was under the water bowl, so he's a little dirty right now. But he is just absolutely gorgeous. You know what? Hang on a second. Let's take him outside and get a much better view outside. Okay, I just realized... He is in blue, so this is not the best look, but look at him. I mean, he's just gorgeous anyway. This is Vader. He's a good little dude. He's just beautiful. Oh, come on. Yeah, look at that face. And that's just dirt on his face. He was under the water bowl. So. So pretty. Love it. Oh, and side point, I don't want y'all to worry. I did wash my hands in between the cane toad and the rainbow boa. So, I don't have to worry about that. But yeah, this is Vader's enclosure. Like I said, he's, he's just a little dude. Getting bigger, though. And then above him, we have my Kenyan Samboa. I have had this snake for 14 years. This is the Luther. This is the longest snake that I've had and actually he's right there. Let me pull him out for you guys. Okay, so this is Sabaku. I'm sure if you guys have been watching my channel you recognize him. Um, I've had him for 14 years now. I got him in 2010. And he is just, he's the world's best first snake. Like this is the calmest snake I've ever seen in my entire life. And the calmest Kenyan Samboa that I've ever seen. Because I've had two different females for him at separate times. And they've both just been bitches. Just assholes. So he is just the calmest snake in the world. I don't understand how I got so lucky. But thankfully I did. He's a big old boy. Like I said, I've had him for 14 years. Um, when I got him, he was like the length and the width of a pencil. So, I mean, he was tiny. So, yeah, he's he's doing great. We're best buds. Um, Kenny and Sambo was burrow, which is why he's got such a big substrate layer. Um, so, I don't see him very often. But when I do, it makes it special. 
Huh, bud. Yeah. All right, let's put him back. All right, and you might be able to see him burrow in real time. Oh, he's being a goober. Um, he does not get fed on the sand. He gets taken out of the enclosure to eat, so there's no risk of impaction. Um, he's never been fed on the sand. That's probably why he's so calm, because I have to take him out all the time to feed him. But, yeah, he's, he's so cute. He's my little dude. All right. Okay, so we are now in my bedroom, which is, for the time being, kind of the reptile room annex. And this is my Crested Gecko enclosure. This is an 18 by 18 by 24 for my Crested Gecko little foot, who is also very good at hiding. Let's see. He's got like two spots that he loves to hang out in. Let's see. Oh, there he is. Look. The little dude. Yeah, there's my crusty. He's so cute. He's a big old boy. He's a chonk. But yeah. There's my little dude. Um, he might be getting an upgrade soon. I just couldn't afford it this month because, um, cars. My car is being stupid. But yeah. I mean, 18 by 18 by 24 is perfect for, you know, their whole lives. I just want him to have a little bit more height. So, yeah. This one is empty. I'm just growing some pothos. All right, hang on. Okay, so up here is my Sumatran short-tailed python. Um, this is a PVC 4x2x1. Right, let's see. She is right in there. Let me see if I can get her out. I don't know. I don't know what her attitude is today. Let's see. All right, so this is Vlad. This is my Sumatran short tail. She is gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Um, probably not going to hold her for too long because I don't want to hold her with just one hand. You really got to support their whole body. But, um, yeah, she's good. She's beautiful. She's letting me hold her, which is nice. All right, I got I to gotta let her go. Hang on. Okay, so, yeah, that's Vlad. She's pretty cool. Um, I think she's around the back right now, but, yeah. Down here, we've got my um, Okiti Corn Snakes uh, Trio. Hang on a second. Just drop the lock. Good job. I'll pick that up in a second. So this is another Ecoflex 4x2x2. Y'all can get a really good look at it right there. Um, this doesn't have as big of a substrate barrier as I would like, but that's okay. So we've got... One of them in the water bulks. We've got the shed. We've got two water bowls in here just to make sure that they can always get to water. Um, and then here's, let's see, is this, which one is, I think this is the female. Let me see, come on. Yeah, this is Persephone. She's the female. I've got two females and a, or two males and a female. And then in, the lay box, if I can get in there. Oh, hello. Hi. We've got, I think this is Apollo. Oh, sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just trying to see who you are. Yeah, this is one of the other snakes is commandeering the lay box. Um,. This is Apollo, the male. And then over there, getting ready to shed, we've got Hades. So yeah, they're really cool. They're OKT corn snakes, all three of them. Um, I did successfully breed them. I have eggs in the incubator. So I'm super excited about that. I'll show you them in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, this is their enclosure. They recently got kind of a redo because it just looked so plastic. They had fake plants and stuff, and these are all live plants. And I was like, you know what? They're native snakes. They deserve a little bit more. So, yeah. I love it. Um, they're always up on these. I know they're not right now, but they're always up on these branches. So, they love to climb. I think um, corn snakes are actually labeled as semi-arboreal. So, yeah, they love it. Okay, so right next to those enclosures, we have um, this little shelving rack um this is another one we're probably not going to be able to find this is my red-eyed tree frog 
Um, his name is Tarzan. This is, I don't have the actual dimensions of this, but he is totally good in here. He loves it. Um, let me see. Got a lot of live plants in here. I've got some pothos, some, um, I think they're called crotons. I'm not entirely sure. This is the um, parent peperomia of the plant that was in with the smooth sided toad. It's doing really well. It's it's going insane in here. Um, yeah, I don't know where he is, but that's what they look like. If I see him tonight when he comes out, I'll add footage. Okay, so onto the second shelf. We've got my southern toad. So I showed you Trevor. This is Neville. Because I love a theme. I love a theme. Okay doors off so I can find them for you. There's another purple waffle plant, some um, philodendron. And he's just a little dude. Again, I say he, I don't actually know. I do want to get the opposite sex for this dude, but I haven't sexed them yet, so I don't know what it would be. But there's Neville. He's adorable. I love him. So yeah, this is his enclosure. When I do get a pair, you know, it'll get upgraded into probably a 40 gallon, but this is his little enclosure for now. He's doing really well in there. Okay, so in here we've got my Florida King Snake. Um, he's a mosaic. I recently redid his and the Desert King Snakes enclosure. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. Um, yeah, let me take him out real quick. His name is Napoleon. Okay, so this is little Napoleon. It's just a little guy. Like I said, he's a mosaic Florida King. He's really pretty. He just shed recently too, like a few days ago. So come here. He's a good boy. He's really chill. What you doing? I'm coming to say hi. <laughs> He's a good boy. All right. Oh, sorry, buddy. That was a rough landing. There you go. <laughs> All right, and then this is Zeus's enclosure. Um, he's my desert king snake. So let's go ahead and take him out real quick. Okay, so this is Zeus. This is my desert king snake. He's a little bit more squirrely right now. Yeah, he's so pretty. One second. There we go. Well, <laughs> I love... Desert King Snakes, they're so pretty. Come on, dude. They remind me of little block-headed pythons. Come on, dude. Chill chill out. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Hang on. I'm trying to hold you. You're making it hard. Right, yeah, so this is... This is Zeus. He's making it very hard for me to hold him, so I'm going to put him back. There you go. All right. Did not want to be held today. Definitely. But yeah, that's his enclosure. And Zeus, the Florida king snake. Or, I'm sorry, Napoleon, the Florida king snake. Zeus, the desert king snake. So, bottom shelf, we've got. I see a Luther. We've got um, my banana pied ball python. Um, my other ball python I'll show you later is a normal. This one's a banana pied because banana and pied, I'm not, let me disclaimer this by saying, I'm not big into ball pythons, I'm not big into morphs. So the two that I like are banana and pied. So I got very lucky. It's probably in here. Nope. 
Oh, I see him. Okay, hang on. I got very lucky that my friend needed to sell a banana pied ball python, so I knocked both morphs out in one snake, and I'm good to go now. Okay, so this is Mowgli. Um, he is my banana pied ball python. He's gorgeous. I think he's about to shed. So, all my animals are about to shed right now. But yeah, he's super cute. Look at that face. I love it. As you can see, he's just a little guy. He will get his own 4 by 2 by 2 one day. But right now, he is totally fine in here. He's a cutie patootie. Alright. Let's put you back. Yeah. There you are, bud. So cute. Okay, so you heard me just talk about my California king snake. Um, this is his enclosure. Um, I've got these two are fake, but I've got some live pothos going on in here. Um, it's doing. I've already had to trim it a couple times. It's doing really well. Um, he was out a second ago, so let me see if I can find him real quick. Okay, so this is Knox. It doesn't keep up with the uh, royalty theme, but I got him before I started that, so. I love him because his pattern looks like Morse code. Look at, I want somebody to translate this and tell me what his pattern says. Because that is straight up Morse code all the way down his body. It's insane. So I got him from um, SoFlo Reptiles at the Tampa Expo last year. Um, I highly recommend, I'm not sponsored or anything. I'm not sponsored by anybody. But um, I highly recommend SoFlo Reptiles. They are really good. They take, you give it, you get high quality animals and they really take care of their stock, their animals. I mean, I got him at a show and before I left I was like, oh, when was the last time he ate? What are you feeding him? And they told me exact dates and what size they were feeding him. They were already feeding frozen, so like it was just, hang on, I gotta adjust. There we go. It was just very high quality. Same with Zeus. Um, they come in really healthy. He's a squirmy little... All my king snakes, except for Oogie Boogie, are pretty small. And squirmy. Um, but yeah, he's doing really great. Um, <laughs> little squirmy dude. He's so pretty. Like, just look at his pattern. He's beautiful. Yeah. He's so cute. I can't believe I didn't used to like king snakes. I mean, it's kind of understandable. That was a really... It wasn't like a bad bite, like I didn't need to obviously go to the doctor or anything, but it was a full grown Florida king snake that just latched. It bit me here. This is the thumb actually. It bit me here. I had teeth marks all the way down here. Like my thumb was in his body. So it wasn't traumatic or anything, but it like my first real bad snake bite kind of turned me off king snakes for a while. I definitely just got musked. Dude, rude. But, um,. Yeah, I've, I've gotten back into king snakes lately, and I'm so happy that I have, because they are phenomenal snakes. Um, so yeah, he's going to go hide. He's behind this plant, but that's okay. And for being so small, I need this is like a sticker part, I need to take that off. For being so small, Nox and Zeus were sexed already, so... They are confirmed males by SoFlo Reptiles, and I thought that was pretty cool. That even though they're so... It's a pain to close. Even though they were so small, they were already sexed. So yeah, if you want high-quality colubrids, and they've got other stuff too, I definitely recommend SoFlo Reptiles. Alright, hang on. Alright, above him, we've got a bunch of junk, and then... Up here, I'm not going to pull him out because he's a little psycho, but we've got my pixie frog. This is Bjorn, my little dude. He's gotten so, he was like literally this big when I got him. And he's probably about most of the size of my hand right now. He's so big. Um, this is his paludarium. Um, it's a 40 gallon breeder. He will be getting upgraded to a 75 eventually, but right now he's he's totally fine in there. He's got like a thousand little fishy friends. 
um, little guppies. I put a few in here expecting him to eat them, and he didn't. So this is a few generation of fish going. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. And then he's got all this live pothos in here. He loves to hide under it. Gives him really good cover. And it keeps this water nice and clean. So yeah, um, this was this build was inspired by um, Serpa Design on YouTube. He built one that's kind of really similar to this. It was in a 75. But um, I shrunk it down and made it work in a 40 gallon. Yeah, I mean, this pothos is insane. So he's got a UVB light here, a heat light right here. And he spends, I know he's in the land right now. Oh, there he is. But he spends a lot of time in the water. Like most of his time is in the water. What you doing, dude? He thinks I'm about to feed him. He goes nuts for food. Yeah, he's a little crazy boy. So, yeah, that's his paludarium. I love it. He loves it. He does so well in here. Yeah. And then over here, we've got my invert section. Um, I've recently started to try and get over my fear of tarantulas and spiders, so... This is my curly hair. She's gotten so big. This is a little um, enclosure that I got off Amazon. I do want to upgrade her because she is getting so big. But when I got her, she was like this big. So she's molted a few times. Love it. And then right next to her, we've got my little pink toe, who is actually, sorry, right there. Yeah, she's a cutie. Um, got some pothos in there. I'm trying to see if I can get that to grow up. She's got a whole network of webs in there already, which is awesome. Pink toes are arboreal. Curly hairs are terrestrial. So, yeah. It's my little invert section. And then right here, this is my 55-gallon. You all might remember it if you've been watching the channel. This was the Amazon tank at one point. Um, I broke it down, moved the fish and the plants and stuff into another enclosure because I wanted to do a true Florida biotope. Um, and I've got two common musk turtles in here. I did have three, the other one from outside, but they were fighting, so that one got put back outside. But yeah, this is my... Here he is. That's probably Artemis, the female. Um, and then, oh, I am so sorry. Um, this is Ungoliant. This is Shelob. Please tell me you guys know who what that reference is. It's, uh, Lord of the Rings. So, in case you didn't know, Ungoliant is Shelob's mother. So, Shelob is the spider that tries to eat Frodo in passageway when they're trying to get to Mordor. So, yeah, I'm a huge nerd. Y'all might have seen my Lord of the Rings posters in the bedroom. Don't judge. Um, this is Artemis. The other one in here is Ares, but he's pretty small. So, he likes to hide a lot. Um, this is a Florida biotope. Every, literally, like, the logs and stuff are taken from outside. So, and these are ferns that are native. So yeah, the only thing is, if you'll give me a little bit of room, I've got a cork bark um, basking area because cork bark floats. So that's their basking area, but that's, that's come on, you can give me that. Um, but yeah, they love it, I love it. Um, it's like I've got little springs in here too because the fish were acting a little gaspy, so I got an air stone. I got two air stones. So yeah, they've got little springs in here, which is just even more perfect because these turtles are found all over the rivers and springs in Florida. And then we've just got some mosquito fish. And I've got, if I could find them, three Florida, fl Florida flag fish. Say that five times fast. <laughs> I can't even say it once, apparently. So, yeah, they... These turtles are doing really well in here. You know what? I have to feed them. Let's do that. 
Okay, so I just put in some of that same Fluker's turtle food, fed the fish. <laughs> Hello Artemis, look at her go. Artemis is a female, um, I'm, I think Aries is a male, but he's <laughs> still really small, so I'm not sure. Um, I think that's why they were fighting, is I had two males and a female, so I'm not entirely sure. But, yeah, look at her go. They are so cute. They're such characters. I love turtles. Um, when I moved here, moved back to Florida from Oklahoma, being stationed in Oklahoma, I was like, okay, I'm not going to get any turtles. They're such a pain in the butt. And then immediately, like within like three months, ended up with a turtle. So, like, I can't help myself. I love turtles. So, yeah, you can see I've got all those. Um, mosquito fish and some mollies and guppies that are native. I don't see my flagfish yet, but they'll come out to get the food. So yeah, I love this tank. It looks so good. Okay, so this is my 36 gallon that I just set up. Um, I just posted the video for this not long ago, so go check that out. Um, this is my 36 gallon Bowfront Crebensis tank. Got pair of peacock gudgeons, some black skirt tetras, ember tetras, zebra and leopard danios, glow light tetras, um, peppered and emerald quarries, and my um, like five crebensis that we're probably still not going to see even though there's five of them. They hide so well. I think there's some breeding action going on because they've been digging out this cave here. So I think there might be some Crebensis babies in the future. But yeah, um, I've had the Crebensis for two years. They were the, it was the first tank, first fish tank that I set up when I moved back here. So, and I got tired of how that tank looked and um, one of my friends gave me this one. So I was like, all right, bet, let's upgrade them in at 36. And yeah, they're do everybody's doing really well in here. Actually, hang on. Let's just feed all my fish. Because the tank changes so much once I feed. Everybody just becomes little piranhas. So, yeah. That might look, look, look like a lot, but it's getting blown around by the power head. And everybody will eat it. So. And then I don't feed my fish every day. I feed them every couple days. So. Yeah, they love it. They're doing really well. Oh, I'm sorry. I've also got a pair of um, pearl gouramis in here as well. So, they're just little ones right now. I'm so excited for when they get big and get that color. And then I've got some riparian growth here. Um, I've got some more Adisoni, a peace lily, painted lady, I think that's a philodendron, and a alocasia. So, yeah. That's doing really well. I'm excited. Okay, so I mentioned that I broke down the Amazon tank and moved it into another one. So this is my, um, I say Amazon, it's like Central and South American fish. Um, also, boom, we love riparian growth. Um, this one got inspired by Serpa Designs 350 gallon paludarium. Um, this is a 36 gallon bow front, just like the other one. So obviously it's a, it's a lot smaller, <laughs> but I got inspired by it and wanted to try and emulate that. So I've got a black angelfish in here, some black neon tetras, some serpe tetras, a bunch of quarries, and a few plecos, and a baby convict cichlid. It used to be like the tiniest thing. It was I found it in the 55 when I was breaking it down because I had parents I had a pair in there but they were being really mean to the other fish so I ended up giving them to my friend Gavin and but I found the baby so yeah he's Gavin look at that he's huge it's crazy so yeah this is the Amazon tank um their lights turn on and off in stages so that one turns off I think at like six and then these ones turn off at like a like ten and this one turns off at like 11. So it'll be like three different stages. 
this one comes on at like seven so it's like when it's on by itself it's just like one beam of like warm light so it's kind of like a um sunset type thing but yeah i love it it looks great this is my view from my window look at those ponds they look great i love it okay so this is my newest tank um i just stocked it today actually which is crazy but um i set it up a few days ago this is for african dwarf frogs yeah i love frogs they're so freaking cute look at them and then i've also got some um neon tetris in here i just put them in here like maybe three or four hours ago so everybody's still settling in but yeah i am super excited about this tank i love it it looks so good i've got some pothos type of tillandsia philodendron brazil and a uh, type of sigonium i'm gonna probably have to get a light i was hoping they'd get enough from the window but i'm probably gonna have to get a light suspend it from the ceiling or something but yeah, it looks so good. I'm so excited to watch this tank come together and really grow in and thrive. They're so cute. Okay, so right here we've got my Ecoflex. Ecoflex? Eco... No, Ecoflex is the enclosures. <sighs> what am I talking about? Fluval Spec. I'm, I'm really hungry, guys. Fluval Spec 5 that uh, my friend Chris gave me like two years ago. Um, this is my beta... I named him Cap because he's red, white, and blue. And I love Captain America as well as Lord of the Rings. So this is his tank. It's um, all my fish tanks are live planted. Yeah, he's doing good. He loves it. He's so cute. Okay, so this is my, it's another five gallon tank for um, Blackjack. My other better because I also love Percy Jackson. Um, I'm a nerd. Get over it. Um, like I said, it's another five gallon tank. This is the only completely jet black betta I have ever seen in my entire life. So I had to snag him. Um, yeah, live planted. He loves it. He's doing really well in here. Looks really good. Okay, so this is another Ecoflex 40 for my Solomon Island ground boa. Um, she's a female. Her name is Kaiju. She's so pretty. Let me see if she'll let me. I'm not going to take her out because I did just set up this enclosure the other day and I wanted her to settle in. But yeah, she's, she's so pretty. She is stunning. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, this is her enclosure she I hope she likes it like I said I did just set it up the other day so yeah all right I told you all I would show you the corn snake eggs so I had she initially laid I think 14 no 12 I think she laid 12 I have to go back and look at my records I have lost a few um half of them weren't viable six were and I've lost, this is my first time incubating eggs, so I've lost a few. But these two are doing so well, and have been from the start. So I really hope that these hatch. I am so excited. Um, we just passed, actually tomorrow will be four weeks of incubation. So, I think. I'm doing my counting correctly. This is when I found them. So, yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. So excited, guys. All right. I know that was a long one, but uh, if you've made it this far, thanks for sticking with me. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the tour. I definitely enjoyed um, filming it and putting it together. Um, it took it took a while. It took several hours just to film it, and editing it took a few hours and stuff like that. So I'm actually editing it right now, and then I'm going to throw this in at the end. So um, if you guys enjoyed it, Definitely drop a like, uh, comment, let me know what your favorite animal was, um, you know, future video ideas, what you want to see me do with those animals. Um, like I talked about throughout the movie or throughout the video, I do have some enclosure upgrades coming in the future. 
So hit the notifications so you can know when I upload those um, enclosure upgrades. I just had a total brain fart. It's been a long day. Um, yeah, so hit the notification bell, subscribe, everything, and you'll get to see when I do those enclosure upgrades. Um, I'm super excited. I love all of my animals. I, I think that I've got some really, really cool ones right now. So yeah, I'm excited. Thank you.